Hello friends, welcome back to my another new tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create this animated infograph. Before starting this video, please subscribe our channel. Ok, let's start. At first, we have to create this custom shape, which angle is 45 degree. So, let's create it. For creating this custom shape, we have to take an oval shape. Then change the value of height and weight 5.7 inch. Then duplicate this oval shape pressing Ctrl plus D. Then go to edit shape and select rectangle shape. And press again Ctrl plus D to duplicate one more copy. Select these two shape, then go to march shape and select intersect. Then duplicate it again. And select these two shape, then go to march shape and select again intersect. Now select this shape and rotate it 45 degree. Then change its align, align left and align middle. Change its align also. Align left. Select this two shape again and select intersect. Finally, we get the custom shape. We need two rectangle shapes and we use them for exact alignment. So we keep one of the shape in first quadrant and the other one is in fourth quadrant. Now drag this custom shape in here and select this rectangle shape by press and hold the control key. Then go to align and select align left and align bottom. Now duplicate this custom shape and apply the shadow effect. Then drag it over the previous shape. Then take an oval shape again and change its height and weight 3 inch. Change its align also, align center and align middle. Then select this custom shape and the oval shape and go to march shape then select subtract. Then decrease its size. Now we need to take one more oval shape. Then drag it in here. Then change its fill color and apply the shadow effect. Then duplicate this oval shape and this custom shape. Drag the custom shape exactly over the previous shape and remove the shadow effect. Then select this oval shape and select bring to font. Then decrease its size. Change its fill color as gradient, which type is radial from center. Here we need 4 stops and their position will be 0, 57, 61 and 63. Now group all the yellow shape, then group again yellow part and this oval shape. Now we need to duplicate this group, 3 more copy by pressing Ctrl plus D. So press Ctrl plus D and rotate it flip vertically. Then drag it in fourth quadrant. Then select this rectangle shape also and change its align, align left and align top. Like this, I will duplicate 2 more copy then rotate them and change align just to see how I am doing this Okay, I'm done. 
Now select this all group by pressing Ctrl plus A and ungroup all the group. Then I will change the color of this element. I am selecting this color. You can select your own color. Now we need to take an oval shape which height and weight 2.8 inch. Select align center and align middle. Then apply the shadow effect on it. Then change its color white. Then duplicate it and remove the shadow effect and change its fill color. Duplicate it one more copy and change its fill color as gradient. It's looking perfect. I want to remind you, you can see more interesting video about powerpoint animation in our channel. Here is some previews. You can watch the full tutorial by visiting our channel. Now we will numbering the option. So go to insert and take a text box. Drag it in here and write option 1 change the font size of option and 01 are 6 and 20 change its font monster semi then change its color matching with background shape color then duplicate this text box and drag it over another circle and change its color matching with the background shape color do it for each color shape finally change the numbering 04, 03, and 02. Then I'm taking a shape as a logo. You can take your own logo and place it in here. Then take a text box and write your company name. I am writing here company logo. Change its font size 14. Then duplicate this text box and write Infographic headline. Change the character space loss and change its color. I'm changing its font doses. It's looking good. Now it's time to import icon. 
go to insert and select picture then select your own icon i am selecting this four icon and click on insert then drag and place them inside the four option Perfect. Then take an oval shape again and change its height and weight 6 inch. Also change its align, align center and align middle and send it back. Then change the outline color gray and fill color white. Then duplicate this oval shape and go to edit shape and select rectangle shape. Then drag it in here. Then select this two shape and go to mark shape. Then select subtract. Then select an oval shape from here and copy this by pressing Ctrl plus C and paste again by pressing Ctrl plus B. Then place it exactly over the previous shape. Then duplicate 3 more copy and place them exactly over the previous shape. Then select this 4 oval shape by press and hold the control key and increase their size by press and hold the control plus shift key. Then select this outline shape and an oval shape and select union. Do it again with this 3 shape. Finally. It's looking perfect. Now we need to take a line shape and change it as dashes. Then take an oval shape and drag it in here. Then change its outline color matching with its option color. Then take a text box and drag it in here. I am writing here equal to lorem 1 comma 1. And write a title, subtitle here. Increase its font size 12 and change the font is dosis. Then change its color. Then select this line shape and this oval shape with text box. Press and hold the control key. And drag them down by press and hold the control plus shift key. After doing this, press Ctrl plus A to select all the element and drag them center of the slide. It's looking perfect. 
I hope this video will help you. If you think that, please share this video with your friends. Don't forget to comment how you like the video. Thanks for watching.